it's going to be a job tomorrow. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So parts are in. Um, this is a replacement part. So Vico. So let's put it on. Let's take this off. And then loosen this one. Pop this out, pull this off. So it's better to remove that mouth sensor connection. And there you go. Remove. Oh, there's no lock. Huh. So this is the new one. The lock are like this. All you have to do is pull this out and that unlocks the hose. Oddly, or what you can say, I could say it better, annoyingly, the other one is at the bottom. So that's at the bottom, so it's positioned like this. So if they, I wish they could have just put this upside down so you can unlock it easier you know from here but no they they had to make it difficult I cannot find the hose for the WD-40, so I just have to make this work. Okay, so this is plastic, and that is plastic, which is connected to the block. That's what I was saying. See, I broke it. So now I have to buy that part. And the other one. Let's remove the other one. So we'll buy them all together if it breaks. But I hope the other one doesn't break because I just replaced that about six months ago.
So let's see what happened here. Ooh. Look at that. So I think it's probably got soaked with maybe a fluid, maybe power steering fluid, or maybe I don't know what. But to see plastic has. I mean the rubber, the rubber has softened and this is what broke. I was expecting to break something. So yep. what is that? It's missing something. Ah, uh, there. Oh. Okay, so let's attach this while we're waiting for the part. So this goes in. This is the outer part. Okay, just align this and then wait for the click. If it doesn't click, it's not in. If it clicks, you're done. If it breaks, you're not done. There. So I got back um, yesterday from where I buy surplus parts, and um, yeah, I was surprised that they are on lockdown. So to cut the story short, uh, wasn't able to buy the part. Had to, you know, improvise again. Um, did some sanding and gluing done. So I sanded on both ends of the part, sanded it, and then super glued it together. And then after I super glued it, let it dry, and then sand it again around the area, and then put a layer of epoxy resin and then let it dry and then sand it again and then another layer of epoxy resin um, yeah I hope this works I doubt it I have a very high doubt that this will hold but at this moment I have no option so let's see Electrical in source in and last. is to buy parts for the X5. Yeah, broke the parts on the X5 and we have to get it fixed. Well, I'm driving 170 kilometers, so you might be wondering, Jonas, why do you have to drive 170 kilometers to buy a part? Close to me doesn't have it. I already 
went to four or five shops and nobody has it. And if I order it, it's gonna be 15 days and it's not an option because the wife drives the X5 to work. But we do have the surplus shops but currently they are all in lockdown. I have no option but to go the nearest nearest. So this is to buy. I'm just wondering, is it just too hot in in the Middle East? I should, maybe I should ask you know, our fellow Beamer owners, uh, our fellow X5 owners, if the case is the same. You know, every time you, know, you fix something with the X5, there will be always a collateral damage. There's something something old that is attached to the part that you're trying to replace will also break. I don't know why. Maybe you know, BMW should reconsider the materials they are making. That, that the materials that they are using or maybe it's just too hot here so anyways I I think I've replaced I think this is the last part the last plastic part if I can remember it right that I need to replace and you know two more hoses the rest has been replaced. Anyways, guys, uh, I hope you can comment so uh, we can come up with a with a rational reason on why these things are happening. So round two, just got back from work. Um, here's the part that I got yesterday. Let's put it on.
and that's it. We're done. Drove it for 10 kilometers and don't forget to like and subscribe. Like, subscribe, peace.